Hey everybody, it's Jason Wood from 11 O'Clock Comics, and it's Wednesday, March 22nd, and you know that means it's new comic day, so hopefully many of you are set to head to your stores today and pick up some new comics, and as always, I'm going to walk you through in this video the five comics I'm most excited to pick up. We've got a pair of DC books to start us off. Up first is Nightwing number 102. Now, if you've been watching these videos for the last few months, first of all, thanks very much. But you've also seen me highlight quite a few Nightwing issues, and that's with good reason. From my vantage, it continues to be one of the best superhero comics on the stands. It continues to be extremely well written by Tom Taylor, and this issue he is joined by artist Travis Moore. Uh, what's particularly exciting about Nightwing as we pass issue 100 is... DC is clearly setting up the Titans as the new premier team in the entire DCU, overtaking the Justice League, who are, uh, at least for now, not around. And in this issue, the Titans descend upon Bloodhaven, and Dick sets forth, uh, I believe, the arc that will put them into prominence. And it wouldn't be a great Titans comic launch without Neron being one of the villains, and that's what we get here. So, Great stuff, can't wait to read it, and can't wait to see what DC has in store for Titans more broadly. And our second DC comic of the week is Superman number two, written by Joshua Williamson with art and colors by Jamal Campbell. Campbell's art absolutely sung in the first issue of Superman last month as they reboot the title, and I have to say that um, I'm not the biggest Superman fan historically, but boy oh boy did I love that first issue. And I'm very excited to see what Williamson and Campbell have in store for us. Uh, this issue involves a bunch of parasites, as I understand it, as well as a new character. And like I said, I think they're off to a great start and hopefully they can maintain the momentum. We head over to Image Comics for Dead Romans number one. First issue of a new miniseries set in, as you might imagine, Ancient Rome. The creative team of writer Fred Kennedy and artist Nick Marinkovic are relative unknowns right now, but if the first issue preview that I saw is an indication of what we're going to get throughout the entire miniseries, I can assure you that Kennedy and Marinkovic will be well-known names doing lots of amazing projects in the coming years. We're going to stay with Image Comics for our fourth pick of the week, and that is Vanish number 5. Now, I have to say, it warms my heart to see Vanish back on the stands. It had a pretty hefty hiatus between arcs, but number five does start off the second arc. And we learn more about Oliver Harrison, as well as his love, Eleanor, in this. Uh, Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman have been working together for many, many years, dating all the way back to their uh, stuff at Venom at Marvel. And they're just a great team. They're genuine friends. They have uh, wonderful, creative, collaborative energies. And... I think that uh, having talked to Ryan about this book before it was coming out, I think they have a lot of great things planned for it. So like I said, great to have it back on the stands, and hopefully we'll have that momentum start building again. We're going to round out our top five with Marvel Comics' Doctor Strange number one. Yes, Stephen Strange is back among the living, because hey, it's Marvel Comics and you can't keep a good hero down. This book is written by Jed McKay with art by Pascal Ferry, and we see Stephen Strange back at the place where he should be, alive and well, as the Sorcerer Supreme of Earth, alongside his wife Clea and Wong, getting up to uh, all kinds of mystic mayhem. And this week we have a bonus pick. Yes, indeed, and that's because Last Man Volume 2 is on the shelves. Now, to be fair, this was technically released last week, but it was one of those situations where it was available in some outlets last week, but broadly including bookstores this week. So either way, I'm including it because man, oh man, if you're not on the last man train, you need to get on it. Uh, Vince, David, and I have talked about the first volume at loving length on several episodes of our podcast, and we have all been waiting with bated breath for volume two to hit the stands. Now, for those that don't know, this was a... A French comic that was serialized about a decade ago, wildly popular in Europe, and Robert Kirkman and the folks at Skybound are porting it over here. This is just a great amalgamation of all the things that make manga popular here in the States now, but uh, wrapped in a much more uh, superhero comic friendly 
setting that I think is just a really terrific melding of uh, multiple comic cultures into one action-packed, fun, wild, and creative endeavor. So yeah, so pick this up. You'll note that this is a, uh, a collection of two volumes of the French Bande dessinée. So this is uh, going to run you $24.99 retail, but certainly at most outlets, you can get this for a hefty discount off of that. And believe me when I tell you, this is absolutely worth squeezing into your budget. And that'll do it for this week. As always, thanks so much for listening and or watching. But please be sure to hit that like button if you could. It helps a lot. And tell some friends. But most of all, be sure to check out our main podcast, 11 O'Clock Comics, at Spotify, Apple, or anywhere else you download your podcast from. And if you want to listen to nearly 900 episodes in our archives, you can get them for free at our main website, www.11oclockcomics.com. If you want to have more engaging daily conversation about comics and comic culture with us and a bunch of other awesome comic friends and fans, you can check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash 11 o'clock comics or our Facebook group, which is facebook.com slash groups slash 11 o'clock comics. I will be back next week. And in the interim, I hope you enjoy your comics.